In this lecture, we will continue our mini series on the AI tech stack. In this lecture, we are going to look at storage and network. We will start with the different stages of storage, look at storage considerations, and then conclude on network. Again, here's our diagram. We just talked about compute in the previous lecture. We're talking about storage and network here. And in the following lecture, we will discuss software. When it comes to storage stages, there are four different stages in the data pipeline, and each of these requires different consideration. The four stages are, as you see with this diagram at the bottom, ingestion, preparation, training, and output. So we first ingest all of our data, we then prepare that data for training, we use that data to train the model, and then once the model is trained, it is going to generate output. For each of these stages, we need to be prepared to store the data, to store and work with the data. So again, there are different considerations, and, and we're gonna talk about that now. The four different considerations you need with regards to storage are expense, file type, what type of data are you going to have? Is it image, is it text, is it video? You also need to consider whether you are working with structured or unstructured data. Structured data is easier to process. And in an upcoming lecture, we will talk more about data cleaning and so forth. For right now, we have this little diagram that can help us to understand what the difference between structured and unstructured data is. On the left-hand side, we have a number of different shapes, all different colors. This would be unstructured data. And through a process of data wrangling and data cleansing, we will structure that data into nice, neat rows and columns, which we see on the right-hand side. And that structured data is what is best for training. You do need to understand these terms for the exam, the difference between structured and unstructured. And it is important to, to remember that structured data is easier for models to process. With regards to network, a high-speed network is needed for training your algorithm. Again, the bare minimum that should be considered is a 10 gigabit Ethernet connection. Frontier, the supercomputer we looked at in the previous lecture, transfers data at 12.8 terabits per second, which is lightning speed. I would love to have that. It would, it would probably be a waste, though, because I'm, I'm certainly not using all of my devices simultaneously, and, and even if I was, I, I would not reach 12.8 terabits per second. The network speed is really important for, of course, delivery of the data, which is used during training, and then once we are generating output, the inferences. Again, when we're talking about supercomputers, when we want the, the best compute possible, we're typically talking about having all of our devices, our, our supercomputer, what have you, all within the same data center. This helps to eliminate the congestion that would be necessary to disperse that data geographically, to process it at different geographical locations, and then send all of that data back. There are alternatives, however, to having your supercomputer all in one data center. And two alternatives are edge computing and Internet of Things. And we are going to talk about both of those in a future lecture. So don't worry about that just yet. Just know that there are alternatives to having all of your compute under one roof. And you also need to know that the standard protocol for network communication is TCP or the transmission control protocol. Again, inch deep. You don't need to know any more, anything more than that. If on the exam you are asked to identify the standard protocol used for network communications, you would choose TCP, Transmission Control Protocol. That's all you're gonna to need to know. In this lecture, we have looked at the storage and network components of the AI tech stack. When it comes to storage stages, remember that there are different considerations for each of the four stages in the data pipeline. Those four stages are ingestion, preparation, training, and output. For each of those stages, you're going to need to consider expense, the file type of the data. Is it image, text, video, audio, etc.? Is that data structured or unstructured? And remember that structured data is the easiest to process. 
When it comes to network, remember that a high speed network connection is necessary. This helps to better facilitate the delivery of the data, improves the training, and then later the inferences. It's best if everything is under one roof in the same data center, but there are alternatives to that, such as edge computing and Internet of Things or IoT. And finally, the standard protocol for networking is TCP or transmission control protocol.